everyone, this is Mimi from Mimi's Crafty Shop, and I am coming to you today. I'm going to make my next project share that I'm doing on the road, and I have created some new things. So uh, let's get started on this. This is actually a little booklet that I made up, and using one of these, um, I really don't know what you call this, these little, little envelopes with the little closure like this on there. But I got these at Tuesday morning and did get me some scrapbook and paper. So I was excited about that. Picked me up a few more other things at Hobby Lobby and to be able to work with because I didn't bring any ephemera or anything like that. Um, but anyway, I wanted to show you this. This is something that I made the other day and I ended up using it. A little clutch and I put this bliss on there. Um, this is the pocket that I had used out of a um, Kleenex topper that you pull off and I made this little um, tag here and then this is just some Pimholtz ephemery, ephemera <clears throat> excuse me and this right here is the little paper doll that he has and I just put that on top of it thought it really looked pretty and also I had this envelope that I took and used on here and just glued it on down on that side but I put this really pretty scrapbook paper, scrapbook of paper that I picked up from Tuesday morning and I just kind of thought the colors all went together. It's kind of a um, rustic feel to it. Um, this here is a pocket right here. You can slide something in there. And this is, it's a little bit too big for that, but I'm just showing you where there is a pocket there. This is actually comes from this nature book This um, I'm going to show you here in a minute. But I picked up, I went to a used bookstore and found some really, really cool stuff. So I was excited about that. And um, always on the lookout for some kind of books I can use. Okay, here is another pocket right here that I took and embellished with some stickers that I got from Tuesday morning and just kind of cut this out in a little scallop. Put a little pocket on there and um, kind of stain this up. This is a dolly that I got from place that my husband and I ate and I, I had the dessert on it so I said I'm taking that home with me and using it in my crafts and then this is another one of those stickers that went with that little um, scrapbooking kit I got so that really turned out so cute I love it and this right here is just another of the stickers that went with it and let me see I don't know if I have anything in here or not I can't remember I, I think I did but I might have pulled it out so let's check it out. I never know what I'm going to have somewhere. Oh, okay, I do have something. I made this. Um, this is actually some wild um, birds I've got, uh, cards that I just got picked up at a used bookstore. And these cards are really neat because I love birds, and so I thought I could use these in my, my crafts. This is the, the side of the cards that you, and then you turn them over. And then they have all these beautiful birds on there. And so I was excited about getting these because you can I can use these in my embellishments, my ephemera, and they'll be perfect. So I have a whole bunch of those. And I got those at a really good price. So I was excited about that. And anyway, I made this little card up and put the little purple tones on it in the greens. It's just a place for journaling. And set that aside. I'll show you this other one I made up. This is actually a, a tag. And I took some of that book paper and put this little uh, large yellow loose tree um, off the paper that's a flower. And got the bird on there. And it's got kind of the yellow pink tones to it. And so you can remove that. And then I put a little pocket on there and belched it up with the pretty colors that went, went along with the bird. And here is another one I made. This is a, I don't really know, these are like index cards, but they went on kind of a Rolodex type deal. Um, I, I assume I got them really cheap at a resale shop. And this was another one of my little um, collages I made up. There's a beautiful uh, common red pole and bird. And then some more of the um, wildflower book that I got. So that turned out really cute and would be so pretty in a journal. 
And here's just a little tag I made up. So cute. I love making up tags. All right. So here is my little um, sewing kit, little thing that I'm, I, I told y'all I was going to make something out of it, a little book. Well, I ended up doing it, and it turned out really cute. Um, this was actually for uh, could hold the needles. And so I uh, just put some little ribbon around it to tie it. And as y'all remember, it had a little um, window in it. So I had those cards that I bought. If I can find one. Here, these cards right here that I got. Well, they're invitations. You're invited, blah, blah, blah. So I took and cut out the words and used them on here. So it says, you're invited. And then you open it up. And I have from date and place and the little hummingbirds that I cut out of that scrapbooking paper. I had the hardest time getting this signature in there, but I finally got it done. It wasn't easy. And this is just something I cut out and stuck on there. But I have a bunch of little, look at that little um, jar there with the little bee on it that came in that scrapbook paper I got from Tuesday morning. And I just cut out little embellishments, stuck them in this little book that turned out so darling. And here is a little circle that I made out of a toilet paper, used it as a guideline, and got another one of these jars here, and I don't know if y'all can see this, I don't know how well this is doing, I'm in this, and this is a little cutout off of that invitation, really pretty, I made a little belly band there, and made another little pocket here, and Got some little, it says time on here. So this is kind of like a little invitation book that you might would get in the mail back in the day. I don't really do invitations like that anymore. Here's another little card I cut out of the invitation. I thought it's so pretty. And then I made this little tag on the back. So this tag has got RSVP on it. And I just put a little bit of my... Um, Come off, come off of some kind of embellishment I had that I brought. So it turned out really cute. So anyway, I hope y'all liked my little booklet that I created. Here is a book that I got um, at a resale shop. It's called Poems of Mothers. And I was so excited to get it. And I got it at a good price. What I liked about it is the beautiful pictures that are in it. And also the poems. So I'm excited about being able to use this book. These pictures are gorgeous, and I can cut these out. And I, if I can bear myself to do it, I'll have a lot of pretty ephemera, little coins and stuff that I can use in my journal making. So happy about that. Here is that big flowering plant book that I got, and it is just full of goodies. All the stuff that I can use. I can even use the full pages. So it has really pretty the thing right here that I could use too. It's really thick cardboard. And I did show you, I think I showed this book already, but this book is just really full of all kinds of ephemera pages I can use. And I was excited about that. Got that really cheap for two dollars at a resale shop. All right, y'all. This is gonna be my next project that I'm gonna be working on. I have a sack here that I am going to do up. Um, I've got something in the sack, and Clinic's Creation is the one that I kind of got the idea from, and I have made paper bag uh, books before. Um, but what I'm going to do is decorate just the outer part of this. I'm going to glue this down, and um, I'm not going to try to take and re-take this off, these little handles. She takes them and puts them one side here and one side there because I don't really have the proper tools to do that right now, but I can decorate it. So my idea was is to use the purple tone stuff. I've got these two things that I can use that are kind of purple, and I cut this out of my collage um, decoupage book. Beautiful lady that's got purple on her dress, and these are um, out of that plant book the purple tones and then I've got all these really pretty purple green colors and I've already made these 
So I can maybe use these on it. And then I'm going to cover it in probably this. That's my idea. Just covering the whole um, scrapbook paper in that. That's what I'm thinking. Hopefully it'll work out. But anyway, all right, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. And y'all stay tuned because I will be having more projects. Y'all have a blessed day.